So we are here this week with Penn State Harrisburg sophomore forward on the men's soccer team, Joey Amon, off to a scorching start to the season so far. Nine goals scored, leading the conference in goals scored so far this year, and including four goals scored last week, two in each game in a 2-0 and week en route to his Player of the Week honor. Joey, congratulations on your Player of the Week honor last week. What was your reaction when you heard that you were the conference Offensive Player of the Week? Uh, to be honest, uh, I wasn't even really thinking about it. It was, I mean, I knew I had, had had a good week, but it was just kind of a surprise to see that I actually got one. But it was good. How does it feel to be the leader in the conference in goals scored so far with, with nine this year? Last year you had six goals and three assists your freshman season for the Lions, and you've already surpassed that. So, so how does that feel to start off the season so strong this year? Um, I mean, it really helps. I knew coming into the season that there would be a good, decent amount of pressure coming just from I mean, the whole scenario with losing our two leading goal scorers. So scoring this many really uh, helps the confidence early in the season. You guys are uh, eight and zero now uh, with a win yesterday. You're, you're really off to a, a great start as a team. What's the mentality? What's the mindset around the team right now as conference play is about to to ramp up later this month? Uh, we know when we get to conference, it's not going to be uh, probably as probably won't be winning as decisively as we have been, and competition will definitely be a lot better. But we look forward to the challenge and. We think a lot, a lot of teams uh, underestimate what we actually can do this year. What's your history with the sport of soccer? When did you start playing, and, and why did you start playing the sport? Uh, I started when I was three to four years uh, old, and my dad coached me. And my dad actually coached me all the way up into where I am now. I never once had another coach, so he was able to, I mean... With him playing as far as he did himself, I had him always mentoring me and driving specific uh, mentalities into my head to help lead me forward. Great. How about away from the, away from the field of soccer now? Let's uh, dive into you a little bit personally. Do you have any hobby, hobbies or interests outside of uh, soccer? Um, uh, I'm... So I study mechanical engineering. So a lot. Of, I mean, I love doing a lot of things. Very technical, very techy. So I mean, I've had drones. Uh, I've built things. <laughs> I mean, built robots. It's pretty. I mean, it's enjoyable. It's what I want to go into. So great. Any idea what you want to do exactly with mechanical engineering? Um. Personally, kind of want to be the person that people come to me with an idea and I more execute the idea and produce the product. Your, your favorite athlete, someone you looked up to growing up and, and why that person stood out to you? I've always been, I mean, I'm always for, I mean, Messi, the, I mean, iconic, everybody. <laughs> it's always either Messi or Ronaldo, but uh, me personally, Messi, because he's, I mean, he's not much of a showboat. He's... I mean, he's a smaller guy. He doesn't wasn't really like born with the height or anything. And he just any game you see, he works. He works so often. I mean, the team kind of revolves around like, what he brings to the table. So he's a pretty important player. <laughs> Absolutely. Definitely uh, a good player to look up to and, and emulate. And you've uh, done done it justice so far this year with all the, the goals you're scoring and the success you've had. So we wish you continued success. Again, congrats on your Player of the Week honor. And thanks for taking the time to talk to us today. Thank you. Appreciate it.